All right, hello everyone. I'm Dr. Parlo Paniti, Superintendent of Central Regional School District. And I just want to take a moment today to tell you about our reopening plans for September 8th, 2020. First of all, it's your own personal choice. You know, each family is dealing with their own issues and that's why we are allowing you to have the option of either in-person or full virtual. Our schedule has changed. Uh, we will have students A through L being in-person teaching on Mondays and Tuesdays with M through Z doing virtual. We will have a full virtual day on Wednesday for cleaning as well as for the class to actually meet on a Zoom meeting or Google meeting. And then on Thursday and Friday, we will have M through Z will be in person and A to L will have virtual learning. And that is our new schedule. But once again, I just wanna start off by that as the parent's choice on whether or not your son or daughter will come back every other day or have full virtual. So based on your needs, make sure you make the proper decision. Um, also, uh, we, we have it where we'll show the schedules. Our schedules, uh, they are a shortened um, four hour schedule for both the middle school and high school. Each day, uh, breakfast will be served during homeroom. All students will go to the cafeteria we do have two cafeterias. We have our freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. So that will be adequate social distancing so students can come into the cafeteria for breakfast each day. Lunches will be delivered fourth period and taken home to eat. By eliminating the lunches, we get rid of all the extra passing time. So once again, promoting social distancing and trying to follow the CDC guidelines as best we can. Also, it eliminates the gathering of students in that lunch period. So your son or daughter can do two things. They can order lunch. We will have an app that is going to be released uh, next week. They can go on uh, using the app, order their food. The food will be delivered and they can take it home. If you do have a credit on your lunch account, uh, you can request to receive that money back or your son or daughter can use that money throughout the year using the app. So we have lots of options available. Um, some of the other things we're, we're doing, remember the key here is we want to make sure that we open safely. So we've done a lot of, uh, you know, preemptive stuff on the buses. Our bus drivers will have shields. They'll be enclosed. Uh, the bus drivers will not be wearing masks just because, um, we don't want anybody to have some breathing issues and God forbid the bus. So our bus drivers will have face shields though. So they are enclosed. They will have face shields. We are going to ask all students riding the buses uh, that they wear masks. We will open all the windows, uh, weather permitting, obviously, to just to create more air circulation in the buses so your son or daughter will arrive to school safely and get home safely. Um, we will also be sanitizing the buses in between runs. So from middle school to high school, if we're using the same bus, everything will be wiped down. Then at night, we do have a uh, fumigation type of uh, bomb that it's set off and sanitizes the whole bus. So once again, uh, our, that's our first uh, you know, line of defense, so to speak. In school, some of the safety uh, things we're doing, every classroom will be supplied with wipes, disinfectant, gloves, uh, and, and an additional mask. Once again, we're asking that, you know, figuring your son or daughter might be more comfortable with their own personal mask. If they do not have a mask though, we will provide them with one. We want to make sure students are wearing their masks in school. Uh, we also have uh, designed our entire uh, building to be one way so that this way students will not congregate. Uh, we're not allowing students to use lockers. So we are allowing backpacks so they can carry their stuff. We also did get brand new math, science, social studies books. So um, everything will be linked and your history book will be linked to the Google Classroom. So when your son or daughter logs onto the Google Classroom, they will see all of their academic books there as well. So um, we have the one-way uh, traffic. We also have a UV machine for both middle school and the high school that goes into the classroom and then uh, sanitizes the whole room. 10 minutes, it explodes, UV light sanitizes the whole room, and then we'll move the machine every 10 minutes to a different classroom and sanitize every room every night. Um, so we are definitely taking precautions. We want to make sure that we open safely. Um, we also have a, it'll be posted on the website, uh, a,
basically a checklist, um, a situation list for students and, and teachers. If this happens, this is your quarantine, this is what you have to do. So this way everybody's on the same page. The Central Regional School District, the teachers, the parents, so that if you know if, uh, let's say, a, a, a college uh, son or daughter has it, you then have to quarantine your son or daughter that might be coming to the high school or middle school. Um, you know, we want to make sure we're all on the same page. So even if you have a son or daughter at the elementary schools, uh, we want to be as safe as possible in this reopening. But we feel very confident that we've done a lot of work. Uh, we're very uh, excited to come back. Um, I do have a PowerPoint that you'll be seeing on here, which will be rolling through. So, you know, you can take a look at that. I'm also doing presentations. I know they are full. I will also be holding a Zoom presentation, but I'm hoping between the in-person uh, presentations, this video and the web and the uh, PowerPoint rolling over on the website, as well as Channel 21. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. My extension here is uh, 3206-732-269-1100, extension 3206. Please feel free to call me. The more uh, you know, questions I get and the more answers out there, uh, the more prepared we'll be to return to Central Regional come September. Now, that is our plan. Of course, our governor can change our plans. Uh, this is what we are planning to do as of now, August 11th, uh, 2020. Uh, three days from now, who knows? Tomorrow, who knows? But uh, I will definitely keep everyone posted. We wanna make sure that everyone is prepared to come back. I think the kids need to come back. I know the teachers are excited to come back. Um, and I'm excited to, to see the kids in the hallways again. Um, so we're gonna do it as safely as possible. But just a reminder, uh, it is your own choice. If you do not feel comfortable coming back, we do offer full day virtual. And with students taking virtual, they will be allowed to participate in sports and activities. Um, students will all be going home at the end of the school day at the four hours. And then we're working on a bus maybe to do a sports and activity run to pick students back up and get them back here at 2.30 for practices from 2.30 to 5.30. And we do have a 5.30 bus taking students home. So uh, once again, if you have any questions, uh, please call my extension. We'll also post my email, uh, tparlopanides at centralregional.net. Please feel free to email me and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Have a wonderful day. I hope you and your family stay safe and well. Thank you.